Hey guys, it's your girl Layton and welcome back to Earning Online with Layton Price. Woohoo! Welcome, welcome, welcome guys. Now today we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how to use O Transcribe to transcribe your audios and your videos. Now otranscribe.com is a free platform that you can use to transcribe your file. And of course, for those who don't know what transcription is, transcription is basically listening to audios or videos and typing them out into words format. Now today, I'm going to be doing an illustration of that. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you do, of course, is go to otranscribe.com. As you can see right here, or let me type it in for you. So otranscribe.o and the word transcribe, T-R-A-N-S-C-R-I-B-E. Oops otranscribe.com once you go there your screen will look like this right you go ahead and you click on start wow look at that all right so once you click on start you'll see this screen coming up right up here as you can see otranscribe help click help if you want to ask anything english i guess you can change the language right there so even if you are not if you don't if you're not an english speaker or you want to type in a different language you can change it right here so you can see things in a different language all right now here is where it says choose audio or video files once you see choose audio or video files it's obvious that it's telling you that you should upload your file here and of course you know this is the universal icon universal icon for upload if you scroll down your screen your screen will look like this as well enter your transcript here quick tips Control high for italic Control b for bold escape to play and escape to pause to pause that means you'll be clicking the one button escape to play to start it and stop it so your finger won't have to be all over your keyboard and Control g to insert the correct time stamp all right so we'll be trying out all of these today all right so since it's an enter here enter your transcript here you don't need all of this you go ahead and delete that because you, you need to write your transcript there all right so the first thing that we'll need to do to get started is to choose our audio or video file okay so you go ahead and click the upload sign right there and I'm going to look for the file. You're going to look for the file here in your computer. My file is in my download, so I'll go ahead and click on it. And voila, the file appears there. And now the first thing that I normally do before I start typing, wait, as you can see, the file is here, the name of the file, and then the minutes, the amount of minutes the file takes. So we can see that this file is 12 minutes and 17 seconds. We have speed, so if the person is talking too fast, you can slow it down. If they're talking too low, you speed it up. And then you have this here, you can press to go up, and there you can press to go down. But we won't be using that, we will just be using the escape button Welcome to start and stop. See this button, Welcome start and stop it here. And if you press escape on your computer, like this Welcome to you'll see that you start it and you stop it one click start it one click stops it okay so the first thing i'm going to do is write my heading i always write the name of my file first right and you whatever the name of the file is you write the exact name that way it's easy to find the file on your computer and let's test out the control b for bold voila and the control i so we can italic it and bold it and let's get started with our transcript all right so let's press escape now welcome to the resilient performance Hub. so as you can hear it's um welcome to the welcome to the resilient performance Hub. so i'm just pressing escape right now to start it and stop it and as you can see right here, I was typing, and then because I had this word spelled wrong, I underlined came, 
there to show me that the word is spelled wrong. Where does this underline come from? I have Grammarly installed on my computer. So please ensure you have Grammarly installed on your computer as well. It's free sign up and you can use it for free. So just click on it to get the correct spelling. Let's go again. Escape to start. And then I listen a bit and escape to stop and I type it out. Let's go. The Resilient Performance Podcast. So it says, welcome to res the Resilient Performance Podcast. Now, because it's the name of a podcast, I am going to put it in caps lock. I had performance twice. So here goes again. The Resilient Performance Podcast. And as you can see, I had stopped it. And instead of just continuing from where I stopped, it went back a bit. Let me press again, escape again for you to see. Resilient Performance Podcast. So you see? Even though I stopped it when he said podcast, when he started again, it went back to resilience. So that's the great thing about this. It goes back a little so you can see where you were. You had um, started before you left off. The Resilient Performance Podcast. I'm your host, Doug Kajijan. I'm your host, Doug Kajijan. So, dog. And now he said dog. But I, I'm not sure of that last name. So what I can do is head over to the Google and type in Resilient Performance Podcast. And then I can look for his name. Podcast by Doug. Dog can change in. So see, so guys, when doing transcription, I didn't hear the name properly, but because of the name of the podcast, I was able to come over to Google and find the correct spelling for the name, right? So now I see his correct name, Kichijin. So I'm going to write the correct name. So instead of putting in Audible, all I had to do was go over to Google and find the correct spelling for this name. All right, so let's go again. I'm your host, Doug Kajijan, and today we're going to do an audio. So you are wondering, now, why did I put a full stop after Kajijan? Because right there, he um, had introduced himself. So the moment he skipped over to saying, today we're going to, that's a totally different thing. So you go ahead and put a full stop and then start the new sentence. Today we're going to do an audio version of a blog post we put out. Of a blog post we put out called. Of a blog post we put out called Mechanical Continuum. Mechanical Continuum and Spore. Mechanical Continuum and Spore. Mechanical Continuum and Spore. Now, to make sure that this is the right thing, mechanical continuum in sport, because I'm not hearing him very loudly. So, um, let's type it in. The mechanical continuum in sports. So, guys, as a transcriber, Google has to be your best friend. Do not just write anything. Right? Mechanical continuum in sport. All models are wrong. So then again, I put a full stop after sports because then he switched over to something else, saying all models are, and that's a totally different sentence right there. Are wrong, but some are so while going through the transcript, you can put in your full stops and comma, commas, or you can wait until you finish everything. Then you take time and go through it and put in your full stops and comma and all the punctuations and fix your grammar. Right? So I'm doing this now, but I'm still going to go over it a second time to ensure that everything is done correctly accurately 
and accurately. Wrong, but some are useful. George Fox. So as you can see, he said George. George Fox. George Fox. All right. So once you hear that, it sounds like it's a quote. George Fox. All models are wrong, but some are deadly. And then you see after George Box, I put a full stop again because he started a totally different thing again. Wrong, but some are deadly. The same talent. All right, guys, so you see, when doing transcription, know that you have to do research as well. You cannot just type it out and write what you feel like writing. Like, I could never have spelled this word unless I came from a country that this word is said every day. Right, so I had to go and Google to ensure I'm getting the correct spelling. So according to what the content is, just swing over to Google and type in something. Type in what certain keywords in the content, and then you'll be able to find the correct spelling. All right, guys. Some are deadly. The same talent. So. Let's now move on to how to use the time code in OTranscribe. Now, what is a timestamp? A timestamp or a time code or a time reference show certain points in the transcript where certain things were said, right? Now, this is a one speaker transcript. Now, say for instance, um, with this transcript, the person may say, please play timestamp every one minute. So each time I reach one minute in the transcript, let me skip this to one minute. Each time I reach one minute in the transcript, I'm going to ensure to stop and place a time code as required by the buyer. So right there is exactly one minute. Let me back up a bit. All encompassing explanation of me. All absolute. All encompassing explanation. All encompassing explanation of reality. Explanation of reality. Explanation of reality. Just explanation of reality. All right. So once it reached one All minute here, of I'm going to stop it. I write here in the transcript. The person said, "Please time stamp every one minute." So this is the first one minute. I stopped at exactly one minute. Press Control J, and it's right there. So control J to get your time something in transcribe. So when it reaches two minutes again, I type up to two minutes and it reaches two the two minutes mark. I'll go ahead and press control G again, right? So it reach up to two minutes mark. Wherever in the transcript it is, I'm going to just press control J and then continue whatever the person is saying after until it reach three minutes or four minutes or five minutes. So doing timestamp in O transcribe is very, very easy. Now, when it comes to the speed, what if this person, you think this person is talking too slow and you want to speed it up? Let's test that. So what I did, I just move this blue thing here up further to speed it up and let's test it. But fault and athlete must generally be coached. See how fast the person is talking. Put it back to regular speech. Must generally be coached. But if you think he's talking too fast, you go down and let's hear that. Athlete must generally be coached. Okay, so the speed works just fine. So remember, guys, in O transcribe, control J to get your time sum, control B to bold, and control I for italic. Now, what I normally do after I finish. Every two or three minutes when using O transcribe, I copy my work and bring it over to Microsoft Words. Because yeah, anything can happen and the word disappears. So I always recommend every one and two minutes, once you type it up, you go over to Microsoft Office and you paste and save as you go along.
So I open a Microsoft Word there and I paste 